Hi there, and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out this video today and joining us on the channel. Now, if you saw one of the last videos I did, which is the Charisma uh, Land Rover Series 3, then uh, we're still at Brock, and um, what I've got here is the MN168 Range Rover Classic, and it's an early Range Rover, two-door as well, and uh, these actually, if you have the real vehicles, they're getting incredibly expensive to buy. Anyway, the reason why I really wanted to go and get this one is not only because I like, obviously, Land Rovers and Range Rovers, it's just that about 30 years ago, my dad had a Range Rover in this exact colour, which is Tuscan Blue. Now, the uh, the model that we brought out, you can get in two more colours. You can, I think it's probably Bahama Gold. And the other one, which isn't quite out yet here, is the pro version and that's based on the Range Rover that crossed the Darien Gap um, so which is a dark blue body silver roof and all like the uh, the off-road equipment like the sand ladders and the uh, the roof racks and everything so that's coming out so uh, hopefully I'll get hold of that one because I'd like to see what's different on the pro beside it being cosmetic anyway so we've got this one and I say in fact this very vehicle or uh, I'm got this model. I'm going to be giving to my dad after I've done with it, and um, because he really likes Range Rovers and it's just like his. Also, I was waiting for this to arrive yesterday. You can just see here, AMA 347K was the registration of my dad's Range Rover that he used to have. So I thought it'd be great to put them on. It's on the back as well, and uh, yeah, it looks really good, really nice uh, touch to it. Uh, the, you get the little Range Rover decals in as well for the tailgate. And for the uh, bonnet, and you also you add on the windscreen wipers, your wing mirrors, and the little uh, vents there, the covers there at the back. And then I just did a bit of extra detailing on the fuel filler and the lock, just to bring it out a bit. And that's all I've done. Your bonnet opens up, and there you go. That's your lithium-ion uh, 1,200 milliamp battery that goes in there. That's nice, and that sits in there, so you can't see it. And the bonnet literally does open just like that on the real Range Rover as well. So, doors open as well. So you can see the doors. I mean, the detail, if I um, haven't quite seen that, but the detail's amazing on it. And that's the right colour for it as well, for the interior. It's like a tan sort of colour. Uh, not the colour of the dash, I'd say, but the, all the seats and everything were that colour. And they've done a really good job of copying it, so the detail's really good. It's a shame the tailgate doesn't open, but you can't have it all. Okay, so I'll flip it over underneath. So, there you go. So that's the chassis. It's got I think it's metal side. Yeah, you've got metal side rails and plates. This is all plastic. Uh, but it has got portal axles on, which is really cool. <laughs> so they've actually gone and put portals on this, which is great. Um, which means it makes it more, more, much more of a more capable model. You've got oil-filled shocks, if you can just see them there as well. Oil-filled dampers as well. And you've got a servo for your steering, which is mounted on your, uh, on, the, uh, on, the sh on the chassis as well. i tell you one thing I did do, and I did this last night, as you can see. White servo saver there. I moved this link two spaces down because the travel... Is, uh, is not very good on it, the steering travel. So if you move that link downwards, you will get more throw. So now, it, it probably sort of slightly catches, but the turning is so much better. Uh, so that's a tip I'd recommend doing. Oh, you get lights as well. You can turn them on and off. On and off, you've got working indicators, and you've got your rear, you can probably see it as well, you've got the rear lights as well. So yeah, the only thing that lets this down, or one of the only things that lets this down, personally, besides that steering, is uh, the wheels are the right wheels, but they're just too big. They just look a bit too big for the scale of it. Now, I'm sure they probably use just use those wheels maybe off something else. I don't know, but that's what they've gone with. Or maybe they wanted to give it more clearance so it could uh, perform better off-road. But this is a 112 scale model, before I forget, as well. And I put it next to my FMS Series 2, and they look right together, so it's not bad, actually. And that's 112 as well. But yeah, bit of a gripe about the wheel size. But besides that, I, I can't really moan too much. So, uh, this retails at about £80 for everything. In fact, it was just short of that. I think it was like 78 quid. 
Uh, well, I don't think that's bad at all, really. Uh, M and M have come on a long way with their models as well. Uh, the last one I had on was the was it? No, that was the WPL. That's probably actually the first M and M model I've had. Anyway, um, let's put this down because uh, let's face it, we want to see it going. So, oh yeah, before I forget as well, this is the other slightly disappointing thing, I suppose. That's the handset for it. It, it is pretty cheap, really. <laughs> but it will do the job. I'm sure if you really wanted to, you could get all the electrics out and put your own in. Uh, on off switch, light switch to turn them off, your steering trim, and your throttle rate, and your bind button. Steering, it does have that, which is quite good if you want to drive it one-handed to do the steering. But, yeah, it doesn't feel, it, it, it does feel cheapish. But, uh, you know, there's got to be some cost saving somewhere, hasn't there? Right, anyway, uh, let's give this a bit of a drive. <laughs> oh, it does look good, though. Yeah. I have uh, great memories from uh, my childhood with the... Uh, the uh, Blue Range Rover that my dad had restored. He built it as a, bought it as a wreck, and uh, he rebuilt it. And we uh, used that as a family car for about ten years. And I think he always regretted selling it, um, but it was just dear, too dear to run back then. And then uh, now he ha he has bought another one. He's got a Lincoln Green uh, Range Rover like this, two door. And I might have gotten the Lincoln Green one if they'd done that body colour, but they didn't. So we went with the uh, Tuscan blue, which I think is one of my favourite colours in the Range Rover. Right. But yeah, it does look good. Let's see if we can get up here. Should do. Oh, tyres. Reverse a bit. Let's try again in a minute. There we go. So we're going to bring it round the top. Oh, yeah. Try again. There you go. Probably a little bit slippy on ground. But yeah. How cool is that? I absolutely love it. So I always like coming to Brock here. You can find you can play for. You play for hours if you've got the batteries. And obviously if you haven't got kids in the family with you because they'd get bored. But, ah, <laughs> oh, it was going so well. And then I took my eye off it. <laughs> I made it all muddy now. I'm sure my dad will appreciate that. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. I was, uh, I've been messing around with this in the house the last few days. And, um... I thought, oh, the throttle is, the modulation isn't too great, but it's actually better than I thought when you're actually driving it off-road. It's still not amazing, but it isn't bad at all. And uh, I will pick it up just so you can see it. Not the, again, you're only getting a very cheap servo, but you can see if I turn the wheel, you can see it judders around a bit. It's all right on the ground, uh, but it was something that I would, uh, if I was keeping the model myself, I would probably change that for a, a better one. But when it's on the ground, it does turn and you, you know, it's all right. It's not too bad at all, but uh, it's something I would want to change. Anyway. So let me know what you think of this. I think it looks fantastic. I am biased, I know. And of course, it's got obviously, uh, you know, sentimental sort of memories and things for me as a youngster but uh, yeah that's the mn168 i think they've done a really good job and i'd be interested to see what other people have done with there so we'll go and check that out as well at some point but uh, yeah anyway uh, that is the uh, mn168 range rover definitely worth uh, checking it out and again you could customize this a uh, heck of a lot as well if that's your thing and uh, i'll be waiting for the pro edition when that comes out, looking forward to that one. That's a dairy and gout version. Anyway, uh, we're going to leave it there because I, I, it looks like it's going to belt it down on us. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, M&M, 168, 1970 uh, Range Rover. 
although uh, my dad was a 71, but that doesn't really make much difference. But yeah, there you go. Uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments. Um, I'm really liking that. It's a, it's a cool thing. And uh, yeah, cheers for checking this one out as always. Much appreciated. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel at Andy Robinson RC on YouTube. And you can come find us on Instagram and Facebook at Andy Robinson RC. Right, look after yourselves. Take care. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.